All right, guys. Today we're gonna do a couple of things. First, we're gonna make a um, a pickling liquid because we're gonna pickle some cauliflower. You're gonna like it. So we're gonna get right into it. We have a tablespoon of cardamom, a tablespoon of fennel seed, a tablespoon of fresh ground black pepper, and a tablespoon of coriander seeds. Is we're going to toast the spices. It doesn't take very long at all to do. We're just going to toss them in and it's a dry pot. You can see there's no oil in it or anything like that. It doesn't take long when your pot's freaking surface of the sun hot, right? You can already smell it, which is what you want. off the heat because that's working really well. In fact, it's working probably well enough. Let's do that just for a minute. Now. Two cups of rice wine vinegar. Two cups of water. A cup of sugar. The only other thing we have to do is deal with this jalapeno. So, pretty straightforward, right? So we're gonna scoop all that out. heat isn't well received in our house. You see how easily that came out. And yes, when I'm done doing this, I'm going to wash my hands and I'm not going to put my fingers anywhere near my eyes because, ouch, that would suck. So just get that out. The seeds, I mean, there could be a couple of seeds in there. If you want to leave the seeds in, if you're doing this, to make a Make yours a little bit more spicy. You can. We are not. We're gonna give these a little slice. Like so. One jalapeno. One jalapeno into the water. Here. We're going to get that to a boil. Alright, so we're going to call that a boil. Let's deal with some camera issues here. We're going to turn that off. Bowl. Okay. So we brought it to a boil. We've got our bowl, our strainer, and literally and that's our pickling liquid guys. So we're gonna add what we're pickling is going into that. So, a little bit of adjusting around here, pickling that pretty thing. Some really pretty cauliflower. We're going to go ahead and get that all prepped up and cut and put into the bowl. So. into the pickling liquid and put a lid on it 48 hours later or when dinner served but we're going to make sure that liquid's all over all of that stuff okay and into the fridge so we're going to toast some 
some almonds. Into the pan, some parchment, cookie sheet, four cups. So we'll measure out. We may not even have four cups, but let's hope. So that's two cups. So decision made. We're gonna cut the recipe in half. And this goes in a The almonds are going to go in oven, bake, start. Once that gets up to 350, they'll go in there and the, until they're golden brown. Golden brown delicious. Come with me. Come with me. So the almonds into the oven because we got to keep an eye on those because they'll burn and that'll be bad. Three cloves of garlic. Juice of two lemons, quarter pound of butter. So we're gonna do a brown butter sauce. All right, so we're gonna melt the butter over medium heat. And we're actually trying to brown the butter. Not burn the butter, brown the butter. So over medium heat. Once that melts and the browning begins, you'll, uh, you'll see. All right. So once this browns, and you can see it's still not there yet. We're getting there. We're talking like 10 more seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 3, 1, you're done! Uh, like a drill instructor counts. Off the heat. It ends up happening. Alright, you see that now? See what color that is? It's like almost like a... Darker than a beer color. Um, unless, of course, you're drinking a Guinness. And it's lighter than a Guinness. You can see now it's off the heat. That's the brown color we're looking for. cups of almonds, really hot, nicely toasted some, we have our almonds and our brown butter, we're going to add our lemon juice, our milk, and our garlic. Give that a stir. So this goes for 20 minutes. I know you saw that and went, ooh, the milk separated because of the lemon juice, and it did. But we're gonna fix that after it cooks for about 20 minutes. So we'll see you in about 20 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna puree this. Brown butter almond puree is what the scallops are going to rest on with a side of pickled cauliflower. And that's where we're at, guys. husband in the world. Come home from work and this is what he's making me. Life doesn't suck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, are some awesome diver scallops. We got these nice diver scallops. Let's see, we're 
we're going to take care of that. Got these nice diver scallops at Canola Seafood. Got it at 715 Chapala. If you're in Santa Barbara, you need some seafood. They didn't pay me for this. In fact, I paid them for the scallops. Um, but every time I go there, they're super helpful. They've got the stuff you always got the stuff I need when I'm doing seafood. It's a little bit of a trip to go from San, to Galita to from Galita to Santa Barbara, but you know what? When you can get when you can get fat diver scallops like that, and I'm going to show you what to do with those here in just a sec. So, what you're going to do? Do you see this? This like muscle? Just take it off, okay? Nobody wants to eat that. You'll see it on each one and it literally just pulls off if you buy scallops and you don't see these on your scallops they're not fresh scallops they may not even be scallops they might be uh oh i know they've used like shark fin or something in the past take a circle cutter and pop through it and, and the shape similar to that and call it a see right there I want to get rid of those okay that there it probably tastes like scallop but it's a lot tougher than this and we don't want so these are bought as dry scallops and that's kind of what you, you kind of want dry scallops you don't want wet scallops ones that are in liquid Frozen ones are going to be wet scallops most of the time. These are diver scallops. The difference between like diver scallops and bay scallops, so diver scallops or sea scallops, sea is big. So that's how you know the big scallops are your sea scallops. The small ones, they're about, oh, yep, I got everybody with that right there. Got everybody with that. The small ones that are about like that, are bay scallops. Okay, now bay scallops aren't bad either. You know, but, I mean, to buy something like that, or something like that, I mean, that's huge, right? So, when you're pan searing, okay, you don't want, you don't want them to be wet, right? So, take a paper towel and make sure they're really dry. You'll also notice, I haven't put any salt or any pepper on them because salt's going to leach more liquid out and we want a really dry scallop for pan searing. I mean, if you go about it and um, you buy them and, and I mean if you're in like the Midwest and you can't get scallops because when we were here on the Pacific and see I missed a little bit right So, we're on the coast here in Northern and Southern California, and so scallops are a little bit easier to come by. I mean, I can't imagine, I'm sure you could find scallops in like the middle of the country in Missouri or, you know, in Iowa or whatever, and I'm sure you can, you know, it's probably just a little bit more expensive. Like the, these diver scallops, these diver scallops will run you about 40 bucks a pound, okay? But the difference between diver scallops and like regular sea scallops is the way they're harvested. Diver scallops are harvested by a diver. So it's, there's less environmental impact than there is when they just dredge for scallops. But with that comes the expense of a diver diving for scallops. So. That's why they're $39 a pound and not $14.99 a pound like they are at, at like a grocery store that are frozen. So, but that's, that's the, that's the diver scallops. And you see, and I've dried them off and I want to get them to room temperature because if you're cooking ice cold scallops straight out of the fridge on a pan, you've got to fight to get it cooked all the way through because it's cold. With that room temperature, you're only cooking these like 
two minutes aside, maybe three at the most. That's it. And we're gonna do that here in a minute. So you wanna really pay attention to that. You know, they're and these are and they're still a little cold, but they're, they definitely don't feel like they were in the refrigerator. Of course you buy them and they're cold. That's fine. Um you, know, you may be able to refrigerate them overnight. I don't know that I would. If I'm buying them, I'm cooking them today. So, <clears throat> so we've got our pan. It should be pretty close to surface of the sun hot. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil to our scallops. We're going to salt and pepper those now. Okay, so we just salt and pepper them. That's it. Oil is smoking hot. perfectly cooked in the middle. Oh, almond puree is the bomb. Put that on a freaking sandwich and eat it. Mm. Scallops, guys. If it's available for you, you need to do this. Seriously, if you can get scallops where you live, make this make this. All right. We'll see you next week.